If you're experiencing game crashes or unresponsiveness on Windows 11 24H2, you're not alone. Many gamers have reported similar issues since the update was released, and these crashes can be particularly frustrating. The root cause of these crashes can often be traced back to new features that came with the update, like Auto HDR or compatibility issues between certain games and the latest version of Windows. Thankfully, there are a few things you can do to fix, or at least mitigate, these problems. One of the main culprits causing instability in games is Auto HDR, a feature designed to improve visual quality by enhancing high dynamic range HDR content. While this sounds great in theory, it's been known to cause crashes and performance issues in some games. If you're having trouble with crashes, especially in HDR and meetable games, one of the first things you should try is disabling Auto HDR. You can easily do this by going to your system settings. Just open the Settings app, navigate to System, then Display, and finally go to the HDR section. From here, you can turn off HDR completely or disable it for individual games. This simple adjustment can often make a huge difference in stabilizing your gameplay. If turning off Auto HDR doesn't resolve the issue, you might need to consider reverting to a previous version of Windows. The Windows 11 24H2 update has introduced certain compatibility problems that can impact gaming performance, and unfortunately, some users have found that rolling back to an earlier version of Windows helps restore stability. To uninstall the update, head to Settings, select System, then Recovery, and look for the Go Back option. If you don't see that option, it may be necessary to perform a clean installation of an older version of Windows, which you can do using a bootable USB drive. It might sound a bit tedious, but it can help get your games running smoothly again. Another important thing to keep in mind is to avoid manually installing the Windows 11 24H2 update, especially if you're relying on features like Auto HDR. It's best to let Windows Update handle updates automatically. By doing this, any bugs or compatibility issues are likely to be resolved in the next set of patches from Microsoft, so it's a safer bet to hold off on manual updates for now. For some specific games, such as Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and Need for Speed Unbound, the Windows 11 24H2 update has caused additional issues. If you play any of these games or others that may be more susceptible to the update's effects, it's worth checking if the developers have released any patches or updates that address compatibility with the latest version of Windows. You can do this by regularly checking for updates in game clients like Steam or the Epic Games Launcher. Game developers often release updates that are designed to fix these specific issues, so staying on top of updates might help you avoid crashes altogether. If the crashes continue despite all these efforts, you can use temporary workarounds to get by until a permanent fix is available. For instance, if a game crashes, you can open Task Manager by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus S. From there, locate the game in the list of running processes and force quit it. While this doesn't fix the underlying cause of the crash, it can give you immediate relief by allowing you to restart the game and continue playing. By following these steps, you can reduce or even eliminate the crashes and unresponsiveness caused by Windows 11 24H2. Whether it's disabling Auto HDR, rolling back the update, or using temporary workarounds, these methods can help ensure a smoother gaming experience. Keep in mind that Microsoft is likely working on patches to address these issues, so it's a good idea to stay patient while they work on a more permanent fix. Hopefully, with these solutions, you'll be back to enjoying your favorite games in no time.